Phoenix and the City. The complete first season. This is a show I was hesitant to start watching. I was hesitant to buy it, but then I'm like, $20 for a complete series? I mean, hell, why not? It only has six seasons and 94 episodes. They can't be long seasons. And this wasn't a long season. As far as I knew, this was an hour-long show. Each episode was 45 minutes. On TV, it came up to an hour on HBO. No, this is actually a half-hour series, adding up to about 22 minutes, roughly. 22, 24, depending on the episode. This show is apparently all about these girls. I still haven't learned all their names, but I'm going to try. Charlotte, Samantha, Carrie, and... Miranda. Carrie, Samantha, Miranda, and Charlotte are just these girls who are having relationships, I guess. That's what it is. Um, there's nothing much else. It's just these girls and their relationships and the shit they get into. This is a okay show. I'm going to keep watching it. It's not a great show by any means. But uh, it's a good enough show where I can say if you're interested in watching it, go ahead. It's really short. You can binge this in a short amount of time. I mean, I, I finished this and I finished the first season in like two days. Uh, some of this show does get a little bit repetitive. Uh, bitching and moaning about guys. I understand that women do that a lot, but uh, not as much as these girls do. And some of the humor does not hit like most uh, comedy. To be a great, hilarious comedy, you really gotta be funny as hell. You gotta be fucking hilarious. Oh, six episodes, okay. Six episodes, six episodes, six episodes, okay. Season two has 18 episodes. I think, no, season six is, is the longest. I'm going to keep watching the show. I think the acting is good. I think it's funny at times. I mean, is this show meant for me? Oh, hell no. Hell no. But I don't care. Because if you look at my collection, I have plenty of uh, stuff that is not meant for me. Like, hell, this show right here is not meant for me, but I love it anyways. The Andy Griffith show? I mean, hell, why not? And uh, Dawson's Creek is not meant for me, but who gives a shit? If you like a show, just admit you like the show. If you like a movie that you're not supposed to like, admit you like the movie. As a, a, as long as you're not 10 years old and you admit you like porn, I mean. <laughs> but Sex in the City, season one, is a good enough season where I'm going to continue watching it. And each season I'll come back on here telling you what I think uh, of that season and whether I will continue when I get up to season three I'll make my uh, official decision whether I will continue on with the series or whether I will give it up more than likely I will continue on with the series um, not taking any breaks from this series except for movies and stuff I have to watch from my local library but I'm pretty sure this will be done within a, a week to two weeks. Probably. Stay tuned for my next videos, which will be reviews for Midnight Sun and Flower. I can't wait to watch Flower, but I think I'm going to watch Midnight Sun first. So stay tuned for Midnight Sun. Uh, all about Belle Thorne, who is allergic to the sun, so she has to go out during um, nighttime. Yeah, uh, during the night, and she meets this guy who's in high school, and it's basically everything, everything, and Bubble Boy. Everything, everything. The girl was um, allergic to everything. She was allergic to everything. And the guy took her on a trip to Hawaii, and she got sick. But it's pretty much because she wasn't used to the sunlight. I think this might be the same thing, but I don't think that uh, the... Spoiler for everything, everything, if you haven't seen it. But I don't think the father is l lying. Yeah, I, I don't think the father is lying to...
to his daughter like the mother was in uh, Everything Everything. Uh, 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 about her, um, about her illness. But, Midnight Sun, here we go. And then, you'll get a review of Flower, Flower, and then I'll go right into Sex in the City. Tomorrow night, you will be getting a review of, um, Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation, and Skyscraper, as well as a review of Mamma Mia, here we go again next week.